What is up, my con fam? Conrad Evan here with The Conrad Evan Show. And I wanted to talk about in this video a little bit about Pokemon Go. So Pokemon Go has been around for getting close to five years now. And as a player since the beginning, I've seen a lot of improvements, a lot of different things, special research, other events like Pokemon Go Fest. And recently, there has been a lot of chatter around the fact that Pokemon Go is just in it for the cash grab. The money-grubbing people over there at Niantic have done it again. Another special event that needs to be paid for. A Pokemon new to the game, as well as other events that you need to pay for, or need to pay for items to make the experience a lot better for you. So one of those events is the new Kanto Tour that is going to be happening early in 2021. They recently announced it, that there's going to be two separate stories. There's gonna be a red version and a green version. So they're kind of giving back a little bit of the nostalgic gameplay but in this format of Pokemon Go. Now, the price is $11.99. And $11.99 sounds like a lot, especially for those free-to-play trainers. Because $11.99, you think, well, what am I going to get? So you're going to get actually quite a lot, and you're also going to be able to get the chance to capture Shiny Mew. Now, Shiny Mew huge deal. Mew was the, I think, I think Mew was the, actually the first mythical Pokemon that was out. I think it came before Celebi. And uh, also, side note, Shiny Celebi is going to be out in about 24 to 36 hours, something like that, depending on when you watch it. Or it's already out. Go get it if you're watching this video after the uh, announcement and after that event has begun. So $11.99 for an event with Shiny Mew and a whole ton of special research and most likely a lot of encounters with cool Pokemon that we don't normally see in the wild is most likely going to happen. So I don't feel like a lot of people have a lot of reservation to, uh, to not pay that much money. Um, in America, where I am, it's $11.99, but in other parts of the world, it could be a lot more. I've seen a lot of comments from people in other countries like Brazil, where the conversion rate of $11.99 is actually a lot more. And for people who don't shell out a lot of money to play Pokemon Go, especially children who are seven years old playing on a tablet, it's, uh, it's a lot of money. That's uh, It's a lot of uh, lawn mowing and taking out the garbage to to get that much money. And seven-year-olds don't have, uh, they don't have credit cards. They don't have debit cards. They don't have bank accounts at all. The only thing they might have is a trust fund that was set up by their parents that's uh, not accessible until they turn 21. So that brings me to the next point of being able to pay for events. Do we need to continue paying for events with a separate payment option? Or should we be able to pay for events with Pokecoins? Because we're able to buy those bundles. We're able to buy boxes with Pokecoins. There's a lot of things that we can buy. You put your Pokemon at a gym. You get the coins. You wait for a while. Buy something. There you go. You don't have to put down your hard-earned dollars to get stuff in the game. So why doesn't Niantic decide that, hey, you know what? I think we're going to start allowing people to buy event tickets, special research tickets with Pokecoins, especially the 99 cent tickets, which is basically like, what, 50 to 100 Pokecoins. You can get that in two days prior to the event. There you go. It's fine. Just no harm there. But again, I, I don't know if there's some weird thing at Niantic or with the app that doesn't allow you to purchase event things with Pokecoins, but I don't know. I don't really see much of an issue with it. Maybe uh, there's something hidden that I don't know about. Let me know below if uh, 
I'm kind of shooting for the stars here. But um, so there was the Canto Tour, which was announced, eleven ninety nine, And then a couple of days later, like two days ago, they announced that Galarian Mr. Mime is coming to Pokemon Go. And guess what? We were really excited. Galarian Mr. Mime and then evolving it into Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Awesome. That's great. This is what they look like. Okay. Hashtag Disney Gamer. Well, at symbol Disney Gamer for the images. But um, I think everyone is now upset because you have to pay $7.99, not with PokeCoins, but with your card and your account to unlock this special event to then get Galarian Mr. Mime. That's the only way to do it. There's some free to play options when this special event is happening, but you're not gonna get Galarian Mr. Mime, at least at this point. Who knows if they're going to release it in raids? Who knows if they're gonna release it in 7K eggs or 12K eggs? That's, you know, that's something else that Niantic could probably work on is amping up that egg pool for 12K eggs. Niantic did increase the egg storage, or at least they're working on increasing the egg storage so you can get those 12 kilometer eggs when you're fighting one of the rocket bosses instead of, you know, missing out on getting that 12k again and again and again, and hopefully having one open space when you're fighting one. So um, that's good. That is an improvement, and I'm happy to see them doing that because it really is unfortunate that uh, the 12k eggs are missed out on so much. Um, another thing that they could probably do, and you know, they did this in November, which is the Monday free remote raid passes. We're still very, very deep in a pandemic right now, especially in the United States. And those raid passes were very, very helpful in me getting to level 41. You had to do 30 raids to get to level 41. And without the remote raid passes, that I probably would still be doing those raids. And I'm almost level 42. So uh, yeah, I think remote raid passes maybe have another bundle of those, not just the little three bundle uh, of remote passes in the shop that they have right now, or maybe incorporate them into other boxes that they're putting in the shop. Um, there's probably a lot of other things that they can improve on. The appraise button, uh, I th I'm pretty sure they're going to be changing that because of just like the outcry, the massive outcry from trainers saying like, my muscle memory is appraising here, not tagging. That's new. So um, I haven't really gotten much into tagging uh, in the game. I just think that, you know, players are upset. I don't think that everyone wants to just continuously shelling out money uh, just to get a Pokemon, that's for sure. I mean, if there's a lot of other stuff attached to it, sure. Um, with this Galarian Mr. Mime uh, event, you're going to be getting a lot of items, and you're also going to be getting the January and February Community Day special research tickets included. So they are trying to make it worthwhile, but the fact that you have to buy a pass just to get a Pokemon, I think is not exactly sitting well with people. So if they keep putting Pokemon behind a paywall, then I don't know, I think we're gonna see a drop in trainers uh, in the game because although events are really fun and keeping it fresh and we got level 50, it's just gonna be a major grind for a lot of people. I know that they're not wanting to just shell out $50, $100 plus however much, you know, for uh, events just to get a new Pokemon, you know? I think you should be able to get Pokemon in the wild, in eggs. So that's about it for this uh, opinionated rant, a little discussion about paying to play versus free to play events and other things within Pokemon Go right now. If there's anything that you think Pokemon Go should work on, should take away, should add to the game, let me know below. Please make sure to do the thumbs up right there and please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making a lot more videos, being much more consistent with my uploads and at 100 subs I will be opening this Kanto Power Box. Evolutions, 
all the PAX Revolutions. It's going to be a really fun opening. I'm really, really thankful for all of you out there who have already subscribed or are watching this now. Please, please subscribe, and uh, I will see you in another video. All right? Thanks.